Hello everyone, it's been quite some time since I last posted, but today I have another video for you. Today we will be looking at how to do a manual white cell correction in the presence of NRBCs and why we need to do them. Actually, it will probably make more sense if we did it the other way around. So firstly, we'll talk about the why and then we'll talk about the how. Nucleated red cells are similar in size to lymphocytes and the more immature that they are, the more likely they are to be counted as lymphocytes by the analyzer. If you think back to the performing a differential count video, you remember the individual white cells as a percentage of the total white cell count. So if you have non-white cells, in this case NRBCs, being counted, you'll falsely elevate the lymphocytes and reduce the other white cells. So manual correction needs to be done to ensure the differential count is only containing the cells that we want the white cells, and not any other cells. Now that we know why we may need to do the correction, the other thing I'll mention before we get onto the how is to always follow your local standard operating procedures. Some automated analyzers handle NRBCs better than others, and so the local procedures for the actual process will work in your lab with the analyzers that you have. Okay, I've got three main steps for you. Are you ready? Most analyzers will try to correct the white cell count if any nucleated red cells are found. Assuming we will be doing the count using our limbs, we first need to replace the WBC with the uncorrected WBC. This is also why we should not count NRBCs when doing a standard diff, as the analyzer has already done the correction for you in those cases. Depending on the analyzer being used, the challenge of finding the uncorrected white cell count will vary in difficulty. On the right hand side, you can see an FPC report from an analyzer. The total white cell count is 23.9, but the uncorrected count just below it is 75.6. So I'd go in the record, remove 23.9 from the white cell count and replace it with 75.6. And that is step one complete. The next thing we need to do is to actually perform the differential count the aim is to count 100 white cells, but at the same time, we want to count the number of NRBCs present. So in the end, the total white cells counted should be 100, but the overall cell count, the total cell count, may be much, much higher. It all depends on how many NRBCs are present. Okay, so we're on to the final step. If the differential count was done using the limbs, then with a few clicks, the built-in calculations will automatically populate the values in the background. If, however, the count was done offline using a cell counter, for example, then there is a calculation that we would need to do. The calculation for the corrected white cell count is actually quite simple, but as it is not something we do regularly, because now the computers do everything, you may not be aware of how to do it. So I'll talk you through it, and then give you an example using some actual results and show you just how it works. Just to give you a warning, it does involve fractions, but there's no need to panic, the fractions are quite simple. Start with the uncorrected white cell count and multiply it by the number of total white cells counted. I mentioned previously that we aim for 100 white cells as part of the diff, but there's nothing stopping you from counting more. Another thing to note and which is quite important, is that we use the uncorrected white cell count and not the one that has been corrected by the analyzer. Next, that is divided by the number of NRBCs counted plus the number of total white cells counted. So the bottom half of the fraction is basically the total cell count, which would include the white cells counted and the NRBCs counted when we were doing the diff. Lastly, let me show you an example of this in action. We'll use the full blood count results I shared with you earlier in the video. Firstly, we'll need the uncorrected white cell count, which is 75.6. When I did the differential, I counted 100 white cells. I also counted 115 nucleated red cells. So the calculation would be 75.6 multiplied by 100 
divided by 115 plus 100, we can simplify it to 7560 divided by 215. This gives us the corrected white cell count of 35.16. Thank you for watching the video. If you found it enjoyable and informative, please do give a thumbs up and if you loved it, hit the subscribe button below.